Good morning. I need a mini facelift stack. They can take your skin from when you had babies and they can like fasten it just behind your ears like that. Just pull it up just like that. It's a little, little nip tuck. Is that what they call it? <laughs> nip tuck. Cause see, when you have babies and you've been fat, skinny, fat, skinny, your skin becomes super stretched out. Like your skin only has like a certain amount of elasticity and it's not fat. It's like literally just skin. So if I just get it tucked right under here, I'll be like, Hey y'all. <laughs> Anyway, I know you guys are like, no, Jamie, I love you just the way you are. Good morning, good morning. It's Tuesday. How's everybody doing? This is bothering me. Let me see if I can do something here. Someone just said I need to get rid of my 14 chins, and I've never related to anything so bad in my whole life. Guys, I do need a nip tuck. I know you love me, but please don't lie to me. Wiggle it just a little bit. Want to see you wiggle it just a little bit. Um, It's like a waddle. Whatever. Um, Okay, so um, I'm getting my nails done today. Thank God they're disgusting. Uh, I'm going to go for a walk this morning with my mom. And then um, go to the office. Um, and she's going to come to work with me today. Guys. So fun. Yeah. Um, okay. So half price twister at Ralph's today. Okay. I don't know what Ralph's is, but I trust you. Um... Okay, so you're addicting. You should have sex with me, Heather. Then you'd really be addicted. Um, all right, so I want to tell you guys something. You know, it's really interesting. I feel like younger people are asking for advice. More, maybe I'm more cognizant of it, obviously, because I'm doing coffee talk. But younger people are asking for advice. Younger people are listening. They are. They're listening. They, they don't want to make the same mistakes we did. But they are. But they don't want to. You know? So last night, I spoke to one of my young loves. In, and she's 18 years old. And she broke up with her boyfriend after two years, he broke up with her because he's going away. They're both going away to different colleges, right? And I told her at the beginning of the summer, you will see this boy with another girl before summer ends. I know he said he loved you for two years. I know he was your first. I know he was the greatest thing that ever happened to you. And you were the greatest thing that ever happened to him. And I know that I know young boys, he, you will see him with a girl before the end of the summer. I know your ego doesn't want to believe that, but it's true. She may even be someone you knew. She may even be someone you were friends with because this is what happens in high school. Okay, this is the shit. So, um, lo and behold, I get a text from her that says, I can't believe I'm seeing him on social media with another girl. I can't believe how much it hurts me. And suddenly, suddenly, he's a bad guy. 
He used me. He said he loved me. He never loved me. He he was bad. I said, baby girl, slow down. I, I'm confused. This was a guy you were with for two years who you loved. What what are we why are we why why are we eliminating two great years because we see him with a girl that we knew that was gonna happen? Because I just can't believe he could be with somebody already. We just broke up like three months two or three months ago. That's like seven years in, in dog years. High school boys are dogs, basically. Three months? Shit. That, that's like seven years for a boy. I said, why are you canceling out two beautiful years that you spent? You had a beautiful high school love, a first love, a beautiful high school romance. Why are you canceling that out? Because he's with another girl now on Instagram. I don't know because it hurts me. Okay, but don't let, that's your ego, boo. That's your ego. Your ego is saying, oh, if he really loved you, he wouldn't be with another girl on Instagram three months after you broke up. Don't let your ego ruin a good thing. Don't let your ego change your history. When your ego comes in to tell you that the person you were friends with must not be your friend, the person you were in love with that... Now, listen, sometimes when you end shit, it really needed to end and the person was trash. That I'm going to tell you now. That happens. But if you know you had a good thing and the relationship ended cordially and like they did the right thing by you, they didn't cheat on you, like they broke up with you maturely, right? You can't let your ego like negate two beautiful years. You got to be happy that you got it. Like, here's the thing. If Michael and I got divorced now... And it was like, not because he did something crazy. Like it was just like, it didn't work out. I would say, man, me and that man spent 15 beautiful years together. Had three children, built a home. Like, love that guy. And if I saw him with a woman two months later, I'd be like, he got a little dick. He doesn't, but I'd probably say it. Got a little dick. Um... You know, whatever. Your ego comes like sniffing around. But don't let your ego negate. It's okay to say, I really loved what we had together, but this sucks. Don't don't negate two whole years. Like, he never loved me. Wait, what? He never loved you. When I met you, you told me you had a beautiful thing together. And it was... The two best years of your life. Now you're trying to tell me he never loved you and the whole thing was a ruse? Come on. These high school boys don't even know how to ruse. Tripping over their own feet like big lap dogs. I'm just saying. Ooh, Derek Factor. Y'all, Derek Factor just came on. Derek Factor was so fine in high school. Oh my God. Now he's a dentist. Which still technically makes him fine. Um, And I know breakups are hard. They are. Breakups are hard. And nobody wants to end something. Especially when it ends. We always want the drama. We want the hard breakup. Then these boys sit you down and they say... I love you, but I can't be in this relationship anymore because I'm going off to college or because you're not right for me or because I'm not right for you or whatever. They do the right thing. And then a month later, they're dogs, they're crap, they're shit. They never loved us. And like, why, why, ladies? Why do we always want to play the victim in in the end of everything? Now, I get it. You come into your house and find your man sleeping in bed with your best friend. Okay, he's trash. But I'm, ta- I'm not talking about those endings. I'm talking about the ones that end well. And then you see them move on and you want to be mad about that too. It's like, ugh, you can't win for losing. The other thing is this, I told her. Why are you, you don't have to feel pain to heal. Unfollow him on social media. You don't have to block him, but unfollow him. Stop looking. I don't know why I want to see it. 
because you're a martyr. We all are. I don't know why we do this to ourselves. We want to compare ourselves to her. Right? By the way, these 18-year-old girls are so beautiful. They're beautiful and funny and smart. And they have these bodies, okay, that have not been touched by anything but God and these one boys in high school. These bodies, not a stretch mark to be found, not a waddle, okay? Not a waddle, not a fucking defective bladder, saggy boob, nothing. You got these fucking 18 year old bodies that are amazing. And they're comparing themselves to these other girls. I just go, what are you doing? You're literally the Mecca. And she was like, you're right. I really should unfollow him. He blocked you from his social media and used to live together. Nah, sis, you need to put him on the skids. Get him a pair of roller skates, wrap him up. And when he opens them up, go, what the hell is this? Say, you're moving van. Lace up your skates and get the fuck out. Listen, I'm just saying, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but if you had something good with somebody, if you really had something good and it ended, let it be good. Let it be good. Don't let your ego change all of that because that's what, that's all that is. Your ego just wants to say, he never loved you. He never, everything he said was a lie. That's not true, sis, and you know it, you know? I don't want anybody to be sad. I don't want anybody to be sad. But if he did you right, and he ended it right, then you got to respect that, you know? Can my mom just, I love you too. Can my mom just come say hi? Uh, I don't know. I think she's in the kitchen with the kids. I don't know. Maybe she'll say hi this week. It's one day at a time, folks. One day at a time. Um, yes, skedaddle is right. Skedaddle. Um, okay. I love you guys. I really do. Dying for some Susan. Hmm. Really? Um, Knox has kennel cough. Uh, for those of you who watched yesterday, Knox has kennel cough. I knew it. I could tell right away. He's on... Um, he's on antibiotics, so that's good. Um, he already sounds better today, uh, than he did yesterday. Um, but he can't go to daycare for a whole week. Love you too, Mike. Um, I love you guys very much, and I just want you to, I just don't want us to feel like we have to negate every good thing that happens to us because it ends. A working relationship ends, you know, you don't have to negate it. It can be a beautiful, everyone's like, oh, Taylor's moving on. Oh no. Oh my God. I'm like, no, 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 no. We had four and a half awesome years together. I'm not, we're not sad at all. This isn't a sad thing. This is a, a, a beautiful thing. Um, if you had something good in your life, let it be good, please. Um, I really need to talk to you guys about my new business. I want to talk to you. I want like advice and I'm not allowed to say anything yet. It's driving me crazy. Now I have that song in my head. Wiggle it. Uh, Alexa, play wiggle it. Here's wiggle it by French Montana. No, no, Alexa, stop, stop, Alexa. Nobody in this room asked for French Montana, okay? Nobody. Wiggle It is from the 90s, sis. French Montana was a zygote. I can't believe that just happened. Who sings it? Wiggle it, 
just a little bit. Damn, you can't even ask Alexa for Wiggle It because she's going to try to give you some new shit. Eileen, I'm going to ask you nicely to please stop asking for my mother. Okay. Um, it would, it would be very nice if you would please stop. I can't, I'm not going to force Susan on camera and can I have something that's just for me, please? Please. I'll, um, Alexa, play Wiggle It by Two in a Room. Wiggle It, original remake AIM edit by Two in a Room on Amazon Music. Hey, y'all remember this song? Oh, I was in high school when this song came out. She's like original uh, version for old fucking people. Your body moves. To get the feeling, feeling is happiness. Oh my God, if I remember the words to this song, shut up, let me hear. Of your mind and make you lose your behind as it grooves. Tension in the air, it's just, now your hype. It's just your type. Giving it to you, right? So come on, come on and party hardy all night. Hey! Oh my God, that is funny. Oh my God, remember when they used to spell words in songs in the 90s? The D-O-N-E-D-D-O, the M-A-R-K. You'd be like, the, uh, the, mar the, what? You'd be all like buzzed on Boone's Farm trying to figure out what they spilled, spelled. And that's the truth. I got a feeling there's a fire wiggling just a little. Hey. That's funny. Okay, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. Yo, I'm dead. She was like, here's Wiggle It by French Montana. No, bitch, the 40 and older crowd. Okay, here's Wiggle It for old fucking people. Thank you. And I'm mad French Montana has a song that had name, named fucking Wiggle It. All right, I love you guys so much today. I'm gonna get dressed because I gotta take my mom for a walk. Sounds like I'm walking the dog. Gotta walk my mom. I love you guys so much today. So, oh my God, wait a minute. I just remembered, for those of you that are from the East Coast, I found a song that I loved so much when I was young. And I don't know if you guys remember this song, but tell me if you remember this song. Why do you say you are old? I'm old for people who listen to French Montana. I'm not old like compared to a 90 year old. Okay. Um, tell me if you remember this song. Alexa, play Lover Who Rocks You All Night by La India. I can't find Lover Rock You All Night by La India. La India? Girl, you need to work on your Spanish accent. You don't know that song? Alexa, Alexa, play La India. Shuffling songs by La India on Amazon Music. Alexa, skip. Alexa, skip. Alexa, skip. They're only going to play her Spanish music. Fever. I love you. Alexa, skip. Alexa, 
Alexa's like, bitch, why you ask for Light in the if you're going to skip every song? Alexa, skip. Alexa, skip. They don't have any of her English music? Alexa, stop. Anyway, La India used to sing the song, Tell me what I must do to get through to you. I want to be the lover who rocks you all night. I'll do whatever it takes to get next to you. Um... Oh, is that why? Because La India is different than India? That is funny. I only know La India. Hold on. Alexa, play Lover Who Rocks You All Night by India. The Lover Who Rocks You All Night by India on Amazon. Music. Shut the front door. Alexa, take the volume up to nine. <laughs> oh my God. My life has changed. I was thinking it was India, La India, the whole time. I do whatever it takes to get next to you. I want to be the lover who rocks you all night. To prove to you, you all you need. Oh my God. I know you've heard these lines before, but my satisfaction guarantee. You're such sensation across the nature. Happiness is just round the back. Y'all know this song? I'll never be lonely. Just loving you only. I'll be the perfect lover and friend. Cause in a special way, you have touched me. And all I want to say, if you let me, shit. Yo, here comes the hook. Here comes the hook. Oh, my God. I want to be the lover who rocks you all night. I'll do whatever it takes to get next to you. I want to be the lover who rocks you all night. Yo, this shit was so... You know what else she said? Alexa. Play Dancing by the Fire by India. Dancing on the Fire by India on Amazon Music. Oh my God! Guys, guys, you don't understand. What does this have to do with coffee talk? Girl, bye. I'm happy for two seconds, who gives a shit? Too much, I don't know. Stand up in front of me. Yo, I used to have this tape. I, I rocked the hell out of this tape. I'm telling you. I just, let me just get the hook and then we can go. Let me just get the hook. Kitch moment, ma. Let me just get the hook. Roller skate, roller skate. Dancing on the fire with just one desire. I want your love. Am I from Jersey? Yeah. Oh! Oh my God! Okay, y'all. That's it. Alexa, stop. Whoo! Today was a good day. Um, just so you guys know, my whole day has been made. Whole day made. I like, she said, call me tone deaf and beautiful. I Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Alicia, thank you for saving my life. Cause I have been trying to find that song. I have been looking for La India cause I listen to La India. La India sings, Porque tú eres parte de mi vida en mi corazón. Okay? And I love La India. And I couldn't figure out why I couldn't find the music. That's why. Because it's India, not La India. Boom. Um, all right. Anyway, I got to go. I love you guys so, so much today. Have a great, great day. <laughs>